Hello guys, welcome, I'm Sim UK. This is Port Royale 4. I've got early access, a thank you to Calypso Media for allowing me early access to this game. To start with, I'm just going to go through the tutorials. I'm going to play each one through in detail. I haven't played the game at all, so please join me and follow through as I learn the game and perhaps jump into a career at the end. Landlubber. You're volunteering to come aboard? Usually we have to fill them with rum, drag them aboard, and ship them off before they sober up again. All right. My name's Sam. I'm a captain here, and there may be some things I could teach you. The most important thing is to know where you're sailing to. Climb into the lookout, take the telescope, and look around. Okay. Use the WASD in scrolling the mouse wheel. Oh wow, look at the <laughs> look at the focus. You can also look around in all directions. Don't worry. There are no octopuses or sirens here. Bit of a shame. This looks fantastic. Port Royale. To know exactly where you are, of course. You need a good naval chart. Oh, wow. Here look at in this. the area, there are 60 towns Spanish, English, French, and these money bags from the Netherlands. And of course, <laughs> pirates from all over the world. I'm sure you'll recognize one of the other convoy. For example, these could be merchants or military convoys. The only way to find out exactly is oh, to get close clouds. enough with one of your own convoys. Which is not always a good idea. Yes, because they could be pirates. Check out Port Royale, your hometown during this exercise. This is the town on the island in the middle of the Caribbean. Your convoy is in the port of the town. Select it. Select no it. Vessels, no trade. It's as simple as that. Such a convoy consists of up to 10 ships, but for you, one is fine for now. Until you can hire sailors and a real good captain, you'll have to show that you can handle yourself. Okay. Take a look at the different parts of the convoy. Commodities. Vessels. No automatic trade route assigned. To assign a route, open the trade route dialogue. We're not sailing around here for fun. It's about trade between the towns and commodities and gold. Okay. Select the town Port Royale to open up the town dialogue. But select the whole town, not a single building. So don't zoom in too far. So you can select individual buildings, they're all on these hexes, okay, let's select the whole town. town. Is nothing without its inhabitants. These consist of workers and their families. The workers toil in the businesses and on farms and produce the commodities. Okay. The fine gentlemen like to come up with an attitude, but it is very important that the inhabitants are satisfied. Because otherwise, they simply run away. The supply of commodities plays the biggest part for satisfaction. Understood. Now select the production tab. Sure, every town also produces its own commodities, 
up to seven different ones. But people want more, and that's where trade comes into play. And your convoy, it brings the people what they cannot produce themselves. Now select the Trade Between Town and Convoy tab. Everything that people want can be found on the market, or maybe not, and then they get dissatisfied. Each item also displays production, consumption, and the current price. Daily production, daily consumption. So we've got an excess of uh, grain. We have an excess of beer. Well, I can't do anything, okay. The better the demand of a commodity is covered for the next weeks, the lower the price. That makes sense, doesn't it? So commodities Ooh. produced in a town are usually quite cheap. So we can, um, yeah, we can we can deliberately drive up the price by taking stuff. I guess I don't know. Now that could be interesting. Grain and buy twenty barrels. Select grain. Oh, you have to you have to click and hold. That's quite, actually, it's not intuitive, but that's actually really good design. I like that. Okay. 20 barrels. While the grain is being loaded into your convoy, let's see where the shortage is. There you can then sell the commodities with profit and make people happy at the same time. Okay. Now close the town dialogue. If you zoom out of the map far enough, you will see more towns northeast of Port Royal. Move the cursor over these towns to see the commodities they produce. Tortuga looks good. Send your convoys there. Make sure the whole town lights up when you send a convoy there. After all, he's supposed to dock in the harbor and not drift around outside the town. Make sure... The whole town lights up when you send a convoy. Oh, I see, like this. Understood. So it's basically saying if you right-click when it's lit up like that, you will go straight to the port. That's pretty cool, I guess. Quite a lot of ships about. Which one is ours? I can't remember. This must be us here. Oh, I saw a whale. That sure looks like a whale. That's very cool. You can't, uh, you can't fish for it, I don't think. Birds, look. I love this environment. It is so good. Okay. Now we'll wait until your convoy arrives in Tortuga. If you want to make a rapid progress, just zoom out. The further you zoom out, the faster time will pass. That's very clever. That's so clever. I'm just wondering though, if there are times where I wouldn't want that to happen. Yeah, let's get to Tortuga. Ah, arrived in Tortuga. No evening without beer, rum, and brawls. And no trading without permission. So open the town dialogue and get a trading license first. Trade license. In order to trade in this town, you can purchase a trade license for 10,000 coins. Oh, we've got plenty. Now open the trade tab again and sell all of your grain to the town. 72, okay. That's cool. Great. You still have to get used to all the commodities and prices, but through trade you can earn the most money. For this, I offer a special course about the Caribbean economy. 
And there is also a lesson about creating automatic trade routes. By the way, in Port Royal, they need wood. Buy 50 units and return to Port Royal. There is work to be done at the shipyard. Understood. Port Royal. Until the convoy reaches Port Royal, a tip from me. Convoys cost money, maintenance, and repairs. Oh, brilliant. Avoid empty trips and load your vessels as much as possible. So I wonder then... So I, mm. Okay, so so far I'm loving absolutely everything about this game. It's very clever, they've got unique ways of doing things, but my god are they good. Um, but, I want to know more about my ship, and I can't hover over these things to know what they are. So going from left to right, I assume that's my sails. Uh, my cargo, but I don't know if that's the maximum amount of cargo that we can hold. Um, I'd say the third one with the arrow and the boat is how low we are in the water. The money thing is how much my boat is worth. I don't know. Uh, rigging, is that not? Zero cannons, 100% health. I'm assuming that's crew health. 40 members of the crew. Um, steering, I guess, is, I don't know what that is, but then we've got an arrow pointing up, I don't know what that means, that totally contradicts what I thought the other one means, so I'm a bit confused, and for, as far as the other two things go, I don't know, automatic trade routes, and I don't know what the last one could be. So we got 50 wood on board. See, uh, so what does that 200 mean? Perhaps that's supplies, food and water for the crew. So we got 50 with a maximum of 200. There we go. Okay. So we got 200 cargo space. Makes me wonder why I didn't buy more wood, to be honest. But it's very cool that we have, uh, whoops, that we have repairs. Maintenance and repairs of the ships. So many games fail to uh, provide that. What is that then? Is that a shoal of fish? Oh, Port I thought Royal. it was a reflection of clouds. The smell of seaweed, old fish, and hope for prosperity. Zoom in on go. the town until you see the shipyard and select it. Convoys that are on the road a lot, the shells have to be scraped off regularly. And that's what the shipyard is for. But you can also get a new barge here if you need more cargo space. So this is how we repair and it will take one day. Where are the days? There we go, January 9th, 1580. Buy a new vessel and get out of here for now. So maybe I can't repair. Yeah, I think I think the tutorial's blocking me. Okay. Nineteen thousand for a new merchant vessel. Just like the schooner, it is small, maneuverable, and inexpensive to maintain. However, the sloop is faster in all wind directions and can carry more cargo. Well that's a win-win-win situation. Slightly less manoeuvrable. Oh, here we go. This will tell us what these mean. Okay. So how many vessels in my group? Capacity. Maximum capacity is 200. Doesn't tell me how much I've got, though, interestingly. Draft. How low we are in the water. Cost per day. Okay. Speed. Now, that's interesting. The rigging is an indication of speed. Cannons, obviously. Stability. 
So this is the boat stability. I'm guessing it reflects this? No, because it's 110. Interesting. How many crew we have? Maneuverability. Height of the deck. I'm not sure what that's uh, relevant for. Maneuver points and movement points. Okay. The shipyard does not offer any used vessels at the moment. Used vessels are created when, for example, a merchant sells a vessel which is no longer required for the shipyard. Okay. Your vessel is still in the shipyard and you can't even see it. You have to add it to a convoy first or convert it into a new one. We do okay. that at the lighthouse. Select it. On the left you can see the selected convoy and your unused vessels on the right. By selecting a vessel, it switches sides. That way you can enlarge, reduce, or dissolve convoys. If no convoy is selected, you can create a new convoy with three vessels. Now add your new vessel to the existing convoy. Not bad for a landlubber. The basics are in place. One more thing. Whenever you come across one of these info icons, you can use it to open the appropriate pages in the manual for Caribbean merchants. Nice. Try it. The info icon will always bring you to the right place in the manual. You can also open the manual at any time and just browse through it. All right, you've got the basics down, I hope. But there's a lot of people out there just waiting to make a rookie like you walk the plank. So I'm recommending my other classes as well. Don't worry, they're shorter. <laughs> yes, because I have a short attention... Um, uh, what was I saying? Anyway. Brilliant. So we should now have access to Cabin Boy. Achievement unlocked. Nice. This tutorial is now completed. Do you want to start the next tutorial right now? Basics for trade of commodities. Otherwise, you go back to the main menu. Well, I am going to do that, but I'm going to put it in a different video just in case uh, people want to watch uh, a specific part of the tutorial. They can jump straight to that. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Take care of yourselves until next time. Goodbye.